My name is Luke Wilson. I took a class, I guess, nine years ago, and I fell in love with it instantly. <laughs> My career path was going in a different direction at that time. Any time that I was wondering, like, you know, what, what could I do that I could do indefinitely that would make me happy forever, it was always pottery. I don't know, I just, there's just nothing that <laughs> has fulfilled me like this before. And it wasn't until a year ago that I finally stopped making excuses and saved up the money and got a wheel and got some clay. It teaches a lot of patience. <laughs> you really have to focus and have intent for what you're doing. Not only that, but you know, learning techniques, it, it takes patience to practice the techniques and being okay with making mistakes because that's how you learn. And it's, it's, it's a humbling yet prideful experience. My name is Julian Simone. I'm a registered landscape architect, retired. I own and operated a nursery here in Lakeland for 57 years. I made my living by digging holes mostly, but my hobby is art and creating art. And, and that's what clay is to me. I find clay absolutely absorbing. The house can catch on fire, and I still like to work in the studio. So it's, it's a place where a clock doesn't exist and time doesn't exist. I can go in there and I can work three to five to eight hours and not um, find it boring. It's always very challenging. A lot of people will work in clay for years and suddenly they find oil painting is more interesting to them. And that's what, that's what art is. It's something that captures your imagination. I'm Jeannie Pond and I am the owner of Studio 649. I started doing art from the time that I can remember, I probably drove my parents crazy. Can I have this paint, can I have that, I'm gonna draw this, that. I went to college thinking I was gonna be a painter. When you go to school to study art, they, they teach you everything. So you're, you're doing painting, you're doing drawing, you're doing photography, you're doing um, pottery. And so the first time that I took pottery, that was it. I mean, that I, painting, I wanted to be a potter. Finding that space, where you don't think about anything but what you're doing. Um, you can completely get lost in it. Since I found that and have developed my art, my favorite thing is to, to share and teach. But even better than that is when people come to me and they find that space too, where they say, I can't wait to do this again because I forgot all my troubles. I didn't think about life. I thought about what I was doing and hey, look what I did. I've lived here my entire life. I'm 81 years old, going on 82. Uh, I have struggled with art in Lakeland my entire life, but the arts are something that is uniquely different that they need to expose themselves to, and I think all people become better people for that. They become gentler, they become more understanding, they become more compassionate, they just make better citizens. There's so many people that are ready for something, I think there's so many people that want to be a part of an art scene here in Lakeland that when we find that that nucleation point, that point in which everybody can can, can come together, I, you know, it's going to happen. I mean, Lakeland's going to be a, a big art town. I would really like to see more of the community just getting involved and giving it a shot, getting out there and trying things, or seeing what you can do and do it again and give it 100%. If you fail, try again. It's, it's not necessarily about the end product. Art is, is the journey of making things.